This is Steve Greenfuel H2O.com. I'm running a second test now on the nickel cell. Um, actually got it testing right now. The bottle's moving up slowly. We're about a minute 40 into the test. On this test I'm going to go 250 milliliters. Um, again, same same amperage, same voltage as before. Okay. Two minutes, three seconds. Calculate that MMW and I'll be right back. Well, I'm going to try a little bit different approach at this. Again, we've got a high MMW, higher than possible, an impossible efficiency rating. I'm going to run up a thousand milliliters on this next test and then take a measurement there. I think that will be a little bit more accurate. Let me set up for that test. Okay. 14.93 volts. I'm going to call that 0.4 amps. Oops. Error on the high side of things. For those of you that didn't see my last video, this is a 7 plate uh, nickel, nickel cell. The uh, plates have been sandblasted with 50 grit garnet media. Got it hooked up to my 75 amp Astron power supply. It's powering the cell. Plates are completely sealed. Um, there's no holes in the middle of the plate. It's actually a chamber here at the top. The plates are below. And it's sealed on the top edge. Sides are sealed. There's a chamber in the bottom where the water comes back in. So we have zero current leakage in the cell. Uh, this gap, the spacing is about a little under three sixteenths of an inch. We're using a new three quart reservoir. So and new hoses. The plates were washed and um, with alcohol and then with a NaOH solution then I put them in the dishwasher so everything's completely clean and one of the things I wanted to test on this is uh, see if we get any leaching at all out of these these plates my hunch is no there's really nothing to leach out in the nickel plate and that is a, a great plus for people that are uh, putting these in their car because you're not going to get any uh, any leaching out of the plates, any of the iron into the water that turns it brown and mucky and you have to change your water every week or so. So if we could eliminate that kind of maintenance on these cells, just imagine what a plus that's going to be. Alright, we're about Four minutes, 15 seconds into the test. Looks like we've got about a little over 700 milliliters right now. 
I'm gonna stop the camera and till right about when we get to a thousand and we'll see how many minutes it took and what the MMW was. Be right back. Okay, I seem to have found the problem. And it's not this three dollar meter from uh, Harbor Freight. It's actually I double checked that right on. My uh my amps they weren't calibrated in right. I'm showing about an amp or so over. So I've got it calibrated in, got it zeroed out. I'm showing just call it 2.1 amps. Which makes a lot more sense. We are about 650 milliliters into the test. 4 minutes 17 seconds. So this is making a lot more sense. Okay, just over 900. Five minutes, forty seconds. And call that a thousand. Five minutes, fifty five seconds. Let's see what our MMW is. Okay. This is why we check and we double check our instruments. Because just a little just a little fraction of an amp there. Just one amp threw this test off by that much. So it's very important to double check our instruments. So we can get an accurate reading on our production of our cells. This is how it went down. 1000 milliliters, 64.4 degrees, 14.92 volts, 2.1 amps, 5 minutes 55 seconds gave us a 5.4 mmw and 71.3% efficiency which is really nice most of my other cells my stainless cells that have the holes through the center that's like this one here about the best I can get with those is about 65 percent that's out of all the testing I've ever done with the water heated up to 150 degrees water super cold like it is now that's about the best I've ever been able to do so this is uh, this is impressive to me 71.3 percent is great 5.4 mmw is, is great especially for uh, there being not a lot of conductivity in the cell again that's two liters of water and only two teaspoons of KOH. In the next uh, video I'm going to double the KOH and uh, run a test on that. And then uh, the next test we'll, we're going to add a lot more KOH. We're going to get the temperature of the cell up pretty high. See what kind of MMWs we can get. And We'll go from there, and this is uh, Steve at Greenfield H2O. If you like my video, please click my name in the upper corner up there. It'll take you to my YouTube channel where you can view many more videos I've done on HHO. Thanks for watching.